I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and today I'm going to show you how you can, for your first time panning ever, do these cool skies. These are all really easy beginner-friendly techniques. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can create them at home. So get your paint, get your brushes, come back and meet me at the easel right now. I'm going to show you how to paint all four of these awesome paintings. This is what I'm going to be using to create all four paintings today. I have a little tiny sea sponge nugget, but you could use a kitchen sponge. I have a number six fan brush. I have an Art Sherpa splatter brush, a big wide bright, titanium white, cadmium red, quinacridone magenta, cadmium yellow, phthalo blue, dioxazine purple, phthalo green, luminous lemon, and luminous opera. Let's start with a really friendly beginner sunset that you can do the first time you try and paint. You guys ready? So I'm gonna grab a nice big brush. This is a number 30. I'm going to dip this in water and I'm going to get some white paint on here and then grab just a little bit of my yellow. I'm gonna come here and just brush back and forth making this light yellow color at the base. Dip in some water, get a little more yellow. More yellow. Rinse out. And we're going to grab some of this cad red right here coming across and blending back down. That looks pretty good as a basic sunset, but there's a couple things we can do to make this look more finished. So I'm gonna take the same big brush and I'm gonna load up with just my yellow. And here at the bottom, I'm going to bring that yellow sort of streaked in towards the lightest spot on my surface. These lines are uneven and irregular, and that's to give it that atmospheric look that we sometimes see. And then I'm gonna grab my cad red again and do a similar thing with the cad red. See, I'm just working the edge of the brush coming in and out. Creating a really cool sunset effect. Pop a little yellow back in. Just interweaving these. Grab a little more red, finish out the top. But one cool thing that I can do is I can take an artist knife like this, grab a little bit of white on the end here, and carefully. Add a little sun right there at the center. That's really fun and really easy. Now for the next one, let's change the time of day a little bit. So first, getting my brush wet, I'm gonna grab my white paint and I'm gonna prep my surface coming back and forth with my big brush like that. Now let's grab some of our blue and really get it on there, coming above the white, brushing back and forth. There we go. More blue. Pretty strong up at the top, right? Back and forth. Just brush this down and you can see it gives you a nice little gradient 
where it's a little bit lighter at the base and getting darker up at the top. You can smooth everything out by brushing back up, making sure it's all covered. So kind of a nice basic blue sky that you could put a lot of things on top of. But if you grab something fun like a sea sponge, like what I have here, get a little bit wet, wring out the extra moisture. I'm gonna get some of my white paint on here. You guys are gonna love this. Take a deep breath and we're gonna make some clouds. Now I know everybody kind of feels like, oh, clouds, they just are not my favorite. A little sponge cloud. That could be just your best little friend, right? Look at that little, little friendly sponge cloud. And what you see me doing is just making sure that on my cloud, that we have these like sort of little cumulus puffs. You can see that going there. And then you can always just smooth it out at the bottom, getting that nice finished bit. Come in, grab a little more. Maybe something on the other side, right? Little circular motions. Little bits of fun in the simple little sky. You can bring these down here and even maybe pop a nice little friend that way. Maybe a little wispy one coming down here. You can just make little cloud events, super easy, super fun. The next one you're really gonna love, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna take at first just some black paint. And we're gonna go right over all this. I'm gonna rinse out. Pretty thoroughly, I want my brush clean. And I'm gonna grab some blue and some purple together. And right here, I'm gonna do the rest of the sky. So this is a night sky. Grab some blue, little tiny bit of white, and continue down my night sky. These skies, they're actually a lot more beginner friendly than you might be inclined to think, right? I'm going to take just a little more purple. Make sure that this is nice and deep. And blend those both thoroughly together until I'm happy with the depth of it where it's like very dark. So I'm gonna come over here and take this simple splatter tool. I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna come over and create some stars. Let's get some stars on here. Oh, that's a very nice starry sky that we have. To do the next fun part of this though, you've gotta dry it. Once that's dry, I'm gonna show you a really fun trick to get an aurora into your painting. So I'm gonna take a tool, this is called a fan brush and the bristles are fanned out. I'm gonna come here and load up this white paint on the edge of my fan brush. And I'm gonna tap up and down like this. And we're gonna come up here and I'm gonna turn back. See, I'm making that curve. Kind of looks like a, a weird little bird. The first step of this cool Aurora is to rinse out the brush, take it clean, and then I want you just to pull up on the Aurora. Here at the turn, sometimes it's nice to take the brush to the edge. I like to make it a little bit taller right there. And then I like to bring the light up and down here. So here we have this white and it gives us this nice basis to get our glow effect. So first I'm gonna take this neon yellow, 
This is a lemon yellow neon paint. It's bioluminous, but for the purposes of this, we just wanted something that was bright. And I'm gonna bring some here, here, and maybe there. And you can see that the white of the Aurora helps this really show even against the dark color. Bring this up and down. Bring that up. Let's come right here with some of that. Now, I like to get some green into it too because like most of the Aurora Borealises have a lot of green in them. I like to make sure that this is the phthalo green I'm putting into that neon lemon yellow. You can see me just interspersing a few little colors just to make that interesting. Rinse out real thoroughly because the last one is gonna really pop everything. I'm gonna take the Luminous Opera Pink. Just any bright, bright pink that you have will work. And I'm gonna come here and finish out this fabulous little atmospheric effect. I can always come and grab a little of my lemon in there and get some, that kind of makes like a little orange. So super fun. Get a very colorful Easy little aura going on our sky. Look at that glow. That's a lot of fun. Now, let's make a really great sunset that's a little more moody and atmospheric and less hot than the one that we have here. Back into the big brushes, shall we? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to kind of get like a water effect on a sunset over a sunset. Now the first thing that you want to do on a water effect over a sunset is make sure that this base is here is very level because you want your horizon line to be level. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blue and green together and some white and I'm going to come right here. And we'll start out a very level kind of ocean effect, right? So that's going to be the water line. Darker color right here. Make that distant water line pretty dark. Not bad. Pull that in. And what you can see is everything I'm doing. I'm keeping it very, very level. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my white and my quinacridone magenta. I'm gonna come across. And make as level as I can this little atmospheric line. Line that pink in. And then I'm gonna grab a little purple and as I come up, I'm gonna start working this fun purple into that. Darkening the sky as I go up. You've got this. These are all gonna be great little backgrounds for you to learn how to paint so you can handle painting. Maybe slightly more complicated sunsets, a little bit easier now that you're seeing how these are going together. They're such good practice for doing that type of work. That's a lot of fun. So I'm going to take some of my white. I'll need to put out a little more white. I'm 
And I'm going to want to just a little bit above the waterline. Add this lightning to the sky. And we're doing still using the big brush. I can even come in on the corner. And then maybe get a little bit of yellow. And just touch it in the center here a bit. See, I'm just wiggling that along in the center. There you go. I'm gonna get a bit of the white on my brush here. And let's just carry a little bit of that light down the water, wiggling the brush back and forth. And the horizon down. You can bring some of those little highlights out. Lightening the water. It's looking pretty good. And then we want to take a bit on maybe the corner of the brush. And make some very bright spots. Little sparkles. Boom, you've got a nice little seascape. That was fantastic, and I so enjoyed showing you these four easy skies. I really appreciated your time today. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye!